You were given wings at birth. Don't crawl. You weren't made to hide, but to have goals and desires. And the truth is that happiness is a state of mind, not a place. So why not learn to fly with courage? Your full potential is a journey, not a destination. It's a path toward liberation from both your own and other people's restrictions. So are you putting everything you have into whatever it is you're doing? To give your complete performance in everything you do, you must wrap on the appropriate doors inside of you. So, to help you unleash your inner brilliance, here are nine techniques where you'll notice a constant shift and be consistent in your own way. Ready to get started? Let's dive in. Number one, how to love yourself. Begin accepting yourself as you are. The secret is acceptance. It makes no difference if you are obese, in shape, wealthy or poor. Although there are many things about yourself that you would undoubtedly like to alter, accepting who you are will give you the power to reach your full potential. You'll be able to go on by first accepting what is, so you will always advance if you love yourself. Well, you may also reschedule some time just for you, as it's not selfish to put your needs first while it is the act of self-care. By learning about your personality, interests, loves, and dislikes, you can get closer to yourself and improve your performance in life. So, rather than degrading yourself and knowing from others how you look, be your own best friend first, as self-talk works wonders, and be comfortable in your own self. Number two, discover your purpose. It's your life. Having a direction for where you actually want to go is the first thing you need. You must first determine the reason for your existence and the purpose of your life in order to accomplish this. Many people don't get to discover the true essence of life. They randomly jump to different scenarios of life and work they are doing because they work as a purpose. So are the decisions you make for your own life. Most importantly, do not listen to advice from others on right and wrong actions. And while accepting advice, be sure to choose what you want as you have to live with the choices you make. So don't allow anyone else to make them for you. Sometimes, you would become an incomplete person if you continued to live your life in accordance with commitments and expectations, so do what your heart tells you to do, not what others or society might expect of you. Number 3. Set Goals You must define the objectives you wish to accomplish over a period of time as you go about determining your mission. You can set both short-term and long-term objectives, such as finishing a book in a week or starting your own business in five years. The summit's elevation affects how steep the journey is. It takes a strong determination to reach for your utmost potential, because getting there won't be simple. Be confident that eventually, despite how difficult the process is now, you will see the benefits of your patience. Goals are success. All else is commentary. Every successful person has a strong focus on their goals. They have a clear vision of what they want and work tirelessly to realize it every day. The key to success is your capacity to create goals. Your positive mindset is unlocked by goals, which also release ideas and energy for goal achievement. Without objectives, you merely float along with life's currents. When you have goals, you can shoot straight and true at your target. Number 4. How to express your inner feelings Express your true sentiments and let people know what you think, whether they agree with you or not. If their acceptance means sacrificing your happiness, let rid of the anxiety of not being accepted. You won't know if your opinions are relevant or not unless you voice them. You must acknowledge that some things won't be quickly approved, but it doesn't mean you should give up. Try again and think things out. Keep in mind that stepping outside of your comfort zone will resolve all of your problems. Be courageous and face obstacles head on, since only those who do so live happy lives. They accomplish their goals, but if you have self-doubt, remember that everyone does at some point. Number 5. Why is it important to set a routine to help one re-examine potential? This phrase may seem unclear to you because potential isn't tied to routines at all. Rather, it has to do with one's mental or physical abilities. Things start to fall into place automatically when we establish solid habits and follow a fixed pattern. Additionally, it gives us enough time to improvise on our previous methods of doing everything. We grow nearer to who we really are. 
we can review our potential to uncover new talents and skills emerging when we can develop a connection with our conscience and begin urging our capacities. So you won't need to exert any internal motivation for it to grow if you choose the appropriate tiny act and sequence it properly. It will simply occur spontaneously, much like a good seed placed in an ideal spot. Number 6. How positivity plays an important part in staying focused. When any of our efforts fail to elicit the anticipated response, each of us experiences the pains of negativity haunting us. Some of us are not able to accept failure in the same way that those who finally succeed do. We should cherish our successes as much as we do our failures with grace. Everyone has experienced failure, despite setbacks. We must have a positive outlook in order to remain even more committed to the mission. While negativity would undermine our efforts to achieve a goal, optimism aids in the creation of fresh, more effective routes to our targets. If we don't prepare ourselves to try again, our powerlessness and lack of hope will just serve to deepen our depression. Number 7. Why not entertain resentments and drop them instead? On the entire surface of the world, you won't find a single person that is happy with everything that they have gone through. We do hold grudges against our spouses, friends, parents, and other family members, among others. We do need to let go of resentments that occupy too much psychic space and hinder our ability to function effectively if we want to live fulfilled lives. Think about carrying a large bag that weighs several kilograms. When you have it or when you don't, which will allow you to go more quickly? It is vitally essential to let go of weight in order to advance quickly. You will feel lighter than ever once you are able to let go of the weight. But unless we are psychologically ready to let go of accumulating grudges, we cannot do so. Number 8. Do not take shortcuts to success. Be patient while you work toward promotions in all aspects of your life. Not just at work, for instance, do not drop out of school only to start working, no matter how eager you are to get money. Additionally, stay away from shady business dealings like paying bribes in order to advance in your career. Instead, work hard to earn that chance. This might create a habit and part of your routine which may lack understanding and fails to give you experience because what step-by-step -step learning can teach you, shortcuts may spoil your mental perception of thinking. This will not only make you lose things, but your character will define you in front of people. Number 9. Try to learn as many skills as possible. Seize the chance to gain new knowledge and abilities. Enroll in skill training seminars or workshops as your resources and availability allow. You become more employable the more skills you possess, and you never know when these skills might come in helpful. However, in order to fully express who you are, you must be willing to dedicate yourself to personal growth and be prepared to put in the necessary amount of effort. When you make the right decision and decide to take care of yourself, you give yourself permission to develop in all areas. By improving your knowledge, expertise, and experience in your chosen industry, you may add value to your life. By gradually setting a higher bar for yourself, you can learn new talents and keep boosting your level. So, that is all the time we have today, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel and do hit the bell icon on your way out. See you all next time. Adios.